In today's video, we are going to live in an Elver bunker for 24 hours. This video is the continuation of another video, and if you haven't watched part 1, I recommend to go watch it. The link will be below in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes. Also, subscribe to not miss any future videos, since there's a huge percentage of you guys watching right now that aren't subscribed. Last video's mythical giveaway winner is shown now, today we're going to try another one, which is a glitched diving helmet. To win this, make sure that you have liked, subscribed, and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning, and I would like to shout out each member for their support. If you guys want to become a member there will be a link in the description below oh here oh he's right there there we go he's dead i'm still getting shot at there we go he's dead i'm getting shot at bro there's still more people there we go he's dead i oh, have yeah, a bunch of more guns how is he not dead yet come on uh, okay, yep, mesh, and we got ourselves a clapper. Oh, th that's a very nice pog. Take that jackhammer, yep. There we go, he's dead. So now we med. We punch them, take the meds out, open vault. Nothing here. Yeah, I'm out of meds. Oh, we need that! That's a good gun! Go throw. This is the second raid I told you guys about. So hope we get something good from this one. So somebody's shooting very close. Alright, so I was just coming here for the keys and I found a decayed base. Uh, there's actually some loot. There's a billion dragon fruit. So I'm gonna take some of those and start my own farm. And there's a lot of material. There's also a bunch of guns, man. There's a shotgun, puck, hellcat, the defibrillator battery, a large gas can. Actually don't have space for everything. There's a pendiculator here, bro. Clapper, bunch of watermelon. You know, it's not much, but I will actually take it. There's some thick clothes as well. I'll take those. All right, so I have a gas mask also. And we're gonna do a dead zone, an actual legit dead zone run soon. Because I was just doing suicide runs. And now we'll actually do a full dead zone run. But I'm getting all of the key cards first. Because I don't even have them all. So that's going to be the next plan. I'm gonna go get the next key card, which is the black one. And the crashed heli. And then we would be set to go do some dead zone runs. And then maybe we'll do some raiding as well. Alright, here we go, dead zone run. I came in here naked. And we'll just wear clothes. I mean, it's gonna be easy to get thick clothes from here. Alright, so red room, this is where we get thick clothes. Yeah, we're already getting thick pants and vests. Where the... Oh, components, bro, that's really good. I'm actually going to vault that just in case I somehow die if there's people. A dead zone rubber. That's nice. We got ourselves a graphics card. Another gunpowder, that's huge. Fishing rod marked. Another gunpowder. Bro, that's insane. Let's put those in vault. A military radio. You know, nothing else. Oh, thick backpack, perfect. There we go. Alright, so now we're gonna go to the blue room. Maybe we'll get ourselves some more heat waves. There we go. The fibrillator battery, that's also pretty nice. Graphics card again. That fishing rod mark too can actually be really good if I decide to go into the safe zone and just fish. I don't know if I will though. There's another tusk, palace, and a grenade. Oh, well, we got one of those raiding guns again. That's nice. Another one. We go, we got ourselves another rebel. Alright, let's go to another room. We gotta do this as quickly as possible, man. I don't really wanna accidentally lose myself because I don't have enough filters or whatever. Oh, this thing is bugged, bro. It's so loud. Come on, man. Give me high cal, please. It looks like a bunch of low cal, though. Yeah, this thing is not gonna shut up now. Let's get this static pog. There's no attachments in here. Now let's replace it to the pog. Let's put all of that high cal in there. Bro, this thing is not gonna shut up. It's so loud. There's a car jack here. We don't need that. Gyroscope, nice. U phone. Another gyro and graphic. We can already make components because from that loot. Yeah, we got ourselves a pretty good run, man. I'm really happy. If we get even more gunpowder from here, that would be great. All right, we got ourselves a jackhammer. A can. We'll take the cans because that's pretty good for metal, man. I'm gonna get myself some magenta crystals, but I think it's actually already farmed. Yeah, it's already farmed. Never mind. All right, then we're done from this run. Really good. I'm really happy with it. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own network for Unturned? Then look no further because I got the best option for you, which is Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is very easy to learn. The navigation is super user friendly and not hard at all to master. The servers all have high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own network a while ago, I had no clue how to do anything. 
But after a few minutes of looking around, I learned the basics shortly. They have locations all around the world and the pricing is super worth it. They also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Ark and also Minecraft. A game changing feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. Also, if you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry because Pine Hosting will help you move your servers. Make sure to check out the link below and use the code LGG for 30% off. And let's get straight back into the action. Alright, we're back in base, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna look around for some raids. I do have some raiding gear. Maybe we could raid a, a small base or something like that. So that's currently the plan. There's a bunch of chop trees around here, so there may be a live base. Close. We, we gotta be careful. Alright, I found myself a raid. Uh, it's metal. The first metal base raid we're gonna do. I got myself a charge, and then I do have a bunch of, of ammo. Alright, yeah, that's obviously not going to break. Hopefully it doesn't take a lot of ammo, though. I do have quite a ton, but I don't really want to waste a lot. Alright, yeah, we're through. Oh, high cal. Now yeah, we got the high cal back already. Let's make a wall. Lovely. Alright. B bunch of junk, though. There's one locker and a bunch of watermelon. Bunch of clot seeds. Watermelon is nice. Even though there's so many, there's too much. Take like a couple and start our own watermelon farm. Let's destroy the beds. To duo's base. There's just one more locker, man. I kind of hoped for more, but maybe it has some good loot in it. And, okay, it's garbage. This is the worst trade I've ever done in my life, probably. At least we did get 80 shots in return, but was not worth it at all. Alright, it's time for another raid. This one's wood, so it's not gonna take a lot. Alright, we're through. A bunch of, uh, bunch of lockers. Alright, let's just seal off behind us. There we go. Two claimed beds, and there's, um, six lockers. Alright, let's destroy these first of all, and then we will raid the lockers. Alright, got myself a bunch of ammo should be enough for all of these to be honest first oh oh boy okay that's really good yo a bunch of grenades i actually needed those you phones rope bro that's crazy all right if we get this kind of loot from every locker it would be definitely profit i right, check out the second one and oh military radios okay oh that's sick i like that Let's see what this one has all right Broke literally by the last bullet. Yeah, even more grenades, cans for days. Bro, this is a very good raid. This is the best raid we've got yet. All right, let's refill. And yeah, it looks like even more U phones, a bunch of green crystals, rubber. Yeah, a bunch of craftable items. There was not a single gun. We have ourselves a full inventory, so. Right, this one looks like even more military. There's, there's a Mosca, so. Alright, yeah, dude, this is a really good raid. Circuit boards, grenades, two, three dettos. Very good raid. It's kind of crazy that the owners of this base decided to make a, a metal floor, not like a wall. But it doesn't really matter, honestly. Alright, insane base raid. Best raid yet. Alright, so my next step is I've always wanted to live in a bunker, so I'm gonna go to every bunker that there's on this map until I find one that is unclaimed or like, I, I'll raid one probably. So that's going to be my next step, and then we'll start moving the loot, and I do have a plan of how I'm going to survive in this bunker. I'm gonna build around, I'm gonna put sentries outside, there's not a lot of people on right now, so it's very early in the morning. Base was still standing, I did take like a, a 12 hour break. Because I went to sleep and base is, base is still fine, so that, that's really nice. So technically this is day two, and on this day, we're going to live in a bunker. Hopefully. Hopefully there's one that I can actually live in. Looks like we found one, Bunker G. Not really one of my favorite bunkers, but we'll have to do. Let's make ourselves a door. Let's hope that there's no, like, random barricades down here. Yeah, this room is okay. There's a generator in there. Okay. Yeah, it seems alright. There's claimed beds, what? Uh, the bottom one, there's a dust. Actually, you know what? We could use that industrial generator. Let's destroy the beds. This one's not even claimed. Yeah, we could live in here. We could just not use the bottom one. We could use that industrial generator. Just we cannot open or close the door. Now we claim this bed. Now it's time to start moving all of the loot. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna be a long process. First, we're gonna have to salvage lockers, bring all the loot here. Yeah, we could live in here, man. We're gonna live in a bunker. Bunker G is my new home. So it's time to start walking back time to start bringing as much loot as possible
Maze is starting to look very nice. We already moved much of the loot. A, lo a lot of it. We got ourselves a loot room here. This one will probably be another loot room. All of these will be separate loot rooms. So if people do raid, they're gonna have to waste a lot. But it's looking nice, man. I actually never lived in a bunker solo in, in, in Elve. So it's a very nice experience. I did live in the Polaris tunnel and sewers many, many times. Alright, so what we're gonna do is to get the loot. What I'm doing is I'm suiciding and hoping to get a close spawn to my old base. We already have a lot of the lockers actually full. Yeah, we could put the clapper in there. So now we suicide, hope we get ourselves a close spawn, and then we will bring all of the loot back. And yeah, there we go. We got ourselves a close spawn. Perfect. Lovely. Alright, so all the loot was moved, now it's time to do some more raids. We still have quite ourselves uh, one gunpowder and um, a lot of high kill ammo, like, for two boxes. Well, we also do have a lot of sniper ammo, so, so we can always raid with that if we do run out. Alright, I found myself a pretty weird base. Looks like it's not even finished, but this one by one here is not raided. So, let's go. Oh, that was easy. There's a few lockers, alright. Seven lockers. Let's see if we get something good from it, I really hope so. Uh, blowtorch, wow, okay. Insane loads. Um, alright, we got ourselves a room key. I'm out. Alright, I need to get more high kill. Alright, here we go, let's see what this one has. Absolutely nothing, wow. Oh, this one has a few cans, magenta crystal generator. And the gauze can. Yeah, this raid is not really looking that good, honestly. Some low cal ammo. Okay. Alright, it's time for another dead zone run. I do have an extra filter. Let's hope we get something good. If we get heat wave or high cal, I'm gonna be happy. Or gunpowder. Those items, I would I would call this a successful dead zone run. Check out the blue room first. There's, there's a double down. Oh bro, it's bugged again. Moscow and Drebble here. That was the pog, we don't need that. There's nothing good here. Alright, no heat wave. Got a grenade. Let's pop the filter, so let's go to the red room. Oh, I'm bugged. Oh, there we go. Alright, so from here, let's hope we get gunpowder, man. Or like, yeah, some thick clothes. Let's swear thick, obviously. There we go, we got gunpowder here, circuit board. A parachute, okay. Rubber, the dressing here. I'm not really gonna look look around in the med room to be honest. Yourselves another grenade, military radio. We don't need that, we already have a bunch. Another detto, don't need these. Alright, we got ourselves a thick shirt. Right, let's check out this room down here now. Please it doesn't get bugged again. No, it's fine. Alright, some extended uh, ammo as well for the sniper. Let's get ourselves some fuel so we need that. So that our base doesn't start to decay. Pendiculate, say. Some more locale. Right, let's break all of these. We got a tank shell. That's really nice. Oh, we got an industrial gas can. I'll actually take that then. Yeah, nothing here. We can just break all of these for attachments, to be honest. There we go. We got a raider stock. That's the best stock in the in the map. So it's a pretty alright run, I guess. We are getting a lot of loot that we do need. There we go. Just got two more gyros. Uh, check out here. Glue and tape. Alright, there's nothing good here. Just a headlamp. Yeah, hey, we're almost done with this run. It's not too bad, I say. Can't get magenta crystals, actually. I'm gonna do that. So that we can start upgrading to Cyan. At least some doors. It'll be much harder for the raiders. There we go. Let's take as much as we can. And then we'll go home. Alright, so... Um, there's people around here. There's a tank. Yeah, he's right here. Let's kill him. Oh, he's dead. Oh, there's more. Oh, this is the trio then. Let's take the gun. Bro, why does he have so much thick clothes? I think I'm gonna just try to get out of here maybe. If it's a trio, they probably live close or something. I hit him. I'm gonna run back. I'm gonna try to get out of here. I think they live close or they're building a base very close. This is very close to my bunker actually. So this could be very bad. Yeah, I'll home and I'll return. There's a dude there. Hit him. Yeah, he brought a clapper and we're going back to where I saw that trio. Yeah, he's dead. Let's see if he had anything good. The good thing about a clapper is that it's silent. It's literally like a two-shot sniper, man. It's very, very OP. And I do have like five of them. So if I lose one, it's whatever. And a pog. Some clothes. All 
Alright, so they are actually building there. The thing is, I could have pushed, but they have sentries outside. So I'm not gonna do that. I did kill two of them, but I'm just wasting ammo at this point since I can't get their loot. Kinda sucks, to be honest. Oh, there's a dude there. There we go, he's dead. My guy had... Oh, he had a bunch of metal tusk, at least back. Alright, we'll take all of this. He had a lot of guns. Pog, blowtorch. There's another dude. Oh, there we go, he's dead. Oh, bro, there's one more. How many people are there? Yeah, this guy had a shotgun and a puck. Let's see what this dude had. I had... I don't know what the gun is. Looks like a valentine, though. A dude here. I'm roaming with Rebel, man. Let's kill this guy. Hello. Bro. There we go. He's dead. There's another dude. Oh, I'm gonna die. Bro. Alright, there we go. He's dead. How the hell did he not kill me, man? It was such easy for him. And I missed the first shot, too. Yeah, this guy didn't have anything. He had a chainsaw. I actually take that. He didn't have a chainsaw. This I'm getting shot at still. There's another dude, bro. Where the hell is he? What? Where did he go? I have no idea where he went, genuinely. Oh, he's shooting at me. I'm gonna use this gun that I have no idea if it has high recoil or whatever. He's right there. He's trying to push me. Hey, he's coming from here. Oh, they're a duel. They TP'd. He's back here. Alright, he's dead. Oh, that was the other dude. Okay. Hey, at least I vaulted the rebel. So I was... I didn't lose anything, literally. Alright, so I'm gonna start working on the perimeter of the... Bunker base now. There's people there. Oh my god, he's dead. There's another one. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. There we go. Now, how the hell did they not? The second dude literally got me like down to 1 HP. Yeah, but these were the guys that killed me at the town. Yeah, we got everything back. Bro, these guys, these guys keep coming back, man. I don't know what they're trying to do. They're just supplying me with loot. Bro, how does he miss those? Crazy. There we go, both dead. They're camping me with shotguns, man. Alright, got ourselves a sentry. What is he doing? Let's put a gun in there. Let's put this one. If we open it, they may just die to it. If they try to get in. I'm so confused. <laughs> They're not pushing it. Oh. What? How did he manage to see me from there? That's mad up. Are they trying to shoot the sentry? Let's just close that. Yeah, maybe they'll realize that they can't go through now and leave me alone. I found their base. They're inside. I heard steps. Alright, one guy dead. Yeah, I'm in. Let's take their loot and get out of here. I don't really have anything that good. Telescope. They're still in there, though. Yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here anyway, though. Let's see what loot there. Yeah, Pog. Helmet. Did I even check all of the crates? We could come back later and raid them, but... I don't really care. They don't really have anything that good. Plus, they're coming to my base and giving me their loot. So they keep dying over and over. Alright, so after I went deep on those guys, they have not returned. It's been like an hour and a half since I went deep. I don't know what they're doing, but yeah, they're not returning, which is good. I think they kind of gave up. It's looking pretty nice, man. So, really happy with the progression that we did today as well. Day 2 was pretty good. Got ourselves a bunker, did some raids. 
Got ourselves a pretty strong base as well. Really happy with what we did, man. Probably look around for some more raids. I'm not gonna raid them because I don't think that it'll be worth it. Alright boys, so after that, nothing really that exciting happened. I did look around a little bit more, I did raid a few more bases, but most of them were empty or very, very bad loot, so I'm not gonna bother to put them in the video. Yeah, the base did stand up for 24 hours, I did return the next day, and nothing was gone, everything was still fine, so we didn't get offline raided, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. I really hope that you guys did enjoy, thank you so much for watching it till the end, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!